Greetings, Daniel Pursuto here for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended. And today we're going to look at how to create this glass object here that has kind of this etched design in the glass using an opacity map. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and turn off that top layer and turn on the pieces layer here. And the background is simply gray just to show you the elements here that I'm using. Nothing more. I'm not actually using that layer. And the inside glass I'm only using, as you'll see in a moment. So I have these two pieces. They're basically the same size. They are the same size. And let's go ahead and select the first one. Let's turn it back on here and go to the 3D panel. It's selecting 3D extrusion. And I'm just going to say create. I'm going to select the bottom glass, 3D extrusion again, and say create. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the top piece because I want to create the cut in the glass. And so the way I'm going to do this is select Command or Control and click on that layer. And it automatically creates a selection of pixels there and it fits inside here. This is the size that I wanted. Now with that 3D layer selected, the glass body, I'm going to go to 3D, add constraints from current selection. And it's going to create an internal constraint here. I'm going to select it, 3D panel. And you're going to see on the properties panel, 3D constraint is set to active. Well, I'm going to turn that to a hole. Boom, instant hole. And that is going to be the glass part of it. And I'm going to go ahead and switch views here. So when you're merging things down, it's you can merge them down right now. Just Control or Command E or select the two of them and go to the 3D layer and say merge down. But I'm going to tell you a little trick here that I think works better more often than not. I'm going to change the view here. It's front. I'm going to swap that view. And I'm going to go ahead and select the glass bottom. Select that view as front. I'm going to swap that view as well. Let's get rid of that selection. Don't need that anymore. And I'm going to merge down in this orthographic view. I think you'll get more precision. Hopefully, Liz here. Let's see what happens. Here we go. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this back to my default view. And return that. Next, I'm going to rotate it. Let's see. Let's get it selected here. Go back to the properties. Make it 90 on the X here. OK, and we're going to reduce the size of that extrusion. Make it 20. And now drop it to the floor. Snap object to ground plane. There we go. Select this piece now, the glass body. We'll go ahead and get the coordinates. Make it 90, hit Enter. And now we have the beginnings of a glass. Now let's go ahead and taper that top part. So I'm going to select the glass body again here and go to the deform properties. Go to taper and change that to 80 percent. Whoops, not 180. 80 percent. Much better. Now I'm going to select the glass bottom and I'm going to scale that down to match that taper value. 80, 80, 80. There we go. And now we have something closely resembling of what we want in the final render. Now this is one of my favorite parts of the demo video is doing the materials. So I'm going to go ahead and start changing the properties here. I'm going to go to my materials tab and select all of them. And I could select something like glass here, I suppose. Or I could just make up my own uh, figures here, and I, I kind of will. I'm going to use that as a, my starting template, and I'm going to change these to 15%. I want them a little bit more opaque. Well, maybe I won't. We'll see how that goes. I don't remember the exact values, um, but here we go. It's a little bit of reflection. So now you can see, let's do a quick render here to give you an idea what it looks like. Yeah, I may want to go a little bit more glassier than that. Maybe that 1% wasn't so bad after all. Let's select, go back to the materials and change this. Let's go 5%. I don't want to do 1% for some reason, but it's all a matter of taste, or unless you know the exact type of glass you have. Now, the background is not very exciting, so I'm going to change that. Boom. Okay, got rid of that. Now, let's go ahead and select the glass material. I'm just going to select here, double click, or a second click rather, not double click. So you can select on the canvas. I can select the glass body extrusion here. Or I can go on the canvas and click a second time there. 
I'm going to go into the opacity map and say load texture. I have it here, glass body extrusion. This is what I'm using. And there you go. Let's have another look at that. That was kind of fast. So everything that's white will show up opaque and everything that's black will disappear and be transparent. So this is just a funky little thing I found and created and messed with and it looked kind of interesting. It's interesting enough anyway. So let's go ahead and give it a quick render and give you an idea. That's more along of what I was looking for. And I think we need to move the light. Let's move it back over here to give you a better idea. Even though it's hard to see with all that transparency. Let's give it a quick render. That's more like it. Now what we're really missing is something to reflect. You know, some kind of background image here. And I think I have an interesting one on this one here. Let's go ahead and have a look. What was my image based light? Let's turn it on and click it. It was this image that I probably found on the internet. I'm going to go ahead and select it, copy it, control X or control C. You can cut it, copy it. I'm going to close it, turn this back off. I'm kind of cheating here. I could have had it on disk too, but why make it easy? I'm going to go to the environment and it has this nothing here. So it's checked and I don't know, not really doing anything, not very exciting. I'm going to say new texture. It's going to use what I have from the clipboard, which is fine. It by default creates that. Let's go ahead and say edit this texture, paste it. I'm going to go ahead and merge it down. And it's a fairly small image. You don't really need large images if you're just doing simple reflections. Unless you want that reflection to look in the object crisp, they don't have to be very large for image-based lights at all. In fact, this is pretty small, 394 by 394, which is plenty in this case here. I'm going to say yes, save it. Ah, now we got some craziness going on here. Okay, let's light this and see what it looks like. That's a little richer. It gives you just a little bit of detail there. And I bet I could probably, let's change the camera a little bit. Just give this glass a little angle here. I could make that glass a little more opaque, maybe in some parts of the, the glass, like maybe the rim edge here. Let's see if I can select it. Sometimes it gets tricky. There we go, the front. I want to select the constraint, but here we go. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. I'm going to say about 20%. That's the body. And in the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and make that as well a little bit higher. I'm going to say, let's try to go 20 and see what happens. That's a little richer. And that's basically it. You can toggle these parameters all day and all night to figure out what it is that you like. I think it looks pretty rich. I guess the one thing I might change here is make that ground shadow a little bit darker. It's at 60. I should make it 100. And we can do that again. And now you can see some of the dark shadows popping out there and some of the IBL shadows even kind of very, very lightly coming off there. Let's have a look with the uh, other plane. You can kind of see them scattered, probably not on the YouTube, but trust me, they're there. I'll put this file online somewhere where you can play with it a little bit more. And this is probably a lot longer than I normally do, this video, but if you like it, I can keep doing some of these. If not, I can stop and make them really short and you can try to follow along. Anyway, thanks for listening. Comments and feedback welcome. Enjoy. Thanks.